Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 19th of our machine learning with Python video series and in this video we're gonna discuss about random forest regression. So first of all I'm gonna make one thing very clear that to understand random forest regression you must be familiar with what decision tree regression is. Okay so I have a separate video on decision tree regression. So if you don't know that what decision tree is go watch that video first because random forest is totally based on decision tree regression okay so make sure that you know the concept of decision tree regression before you start with random forest okay so now you know that what decision tree is let's start with random forest regression so random forest works on the basis of ensemble learning which says that if we combine multiple algorithm or the same algorithm multiple times then we can create a superior algorithm and this is what random forest is random forest uses multiple decision trees to give the output now let's dive deep into it let's say that you have a huge data set so what random forest will do is it will first extract a small chunk of that data feed it to one decision tree regression model and train that model this process will be repeated multiple times now you can control this by specifying the value of how many decision tree regression you want we'll discuss that in the practical part but for now just understand that you can control that how many decision trees are there okay so now what you got is a huge data set on which multiple decision trees are trained okay so now here comes the testing data or the data for which we want to do the prediction okay so that data is provided to each of the decision tree okay so they will give the output according to themselves right and all the collection of the output will be then averaged okay so this is how the random forest regression works it distributes the data set into multiple decision tree regression models and then take the average of all the output provided them okay so this is a much superior algorithm to decision tree because the effect of outliers on random forest regression is very less okay now we have one more trick to stick this concept in your mind that what is a forest a forest is a collection of trees so random forest is a collection of decision tree okay so i hope that your concepts are clear of how random forest regression works because we are moving ahead to the practical part of random forest okay Okay, so now we are into an empty Jupyter notebook. So the first task that we want to do is import the required library, which is NumPy and Pandas. Okay, so now we have imported NumPy with a short notation of NP and Pandas with a short notation of PD. Okay, so the next task is to load the data set. Okay. Okay, so we have used the pandas.readcsv method to read this data.csv file. I'll provide both this IPNB as well as this dataset file in the GitHub repository. The link will be provided in the description. So we are using the pd.readcsv. If you want to know more about the pandas and numpy commands, then I have a separate video for both numpy and pandas. The link will be provided in the description okay so then what we'll do is let's see that how our data set is so we'll do data set dot head uh, just a second head to get the top five values here you can see so we'll be doing the same thing that we have done in the decision tree regression we'll take these three values as our independent variable and this last value msrp as our dependent variable okay so let's create the variables x and y in which these two the independent and the dependent variable will be stored
okay so now we have saved our independent variable in this x variable and our dependent variable in this y variable we have used the dot i log command of numpy to save all this into a numpy array once again if you want to know more of how these commands work watch them in our numpy basics tutorial okay so now what we'll do is we'll split our data set into test and train for that we'll use our sklearn.model selection train test split library okay okay so now we have imported the train test split module now we want our data set to be divided into four section first will be the x and y parameter for train part which will train our machine learning model and then the test part the x and y test part which will test that whether our model is doing the job perfectly or not okay so let's talk about the parameters inside first is the independent variable x second is dependent variable y then the third is test size now we have to define that what will be the split of the test and train so here 80 percent of the data set will be train data and 20 percent will be test data the fourth parameter is the random state now random state basically defines that what will be the random distribution of the data set into train and test sections now for all those who are regular viewer of my channel you must be familiar with these concepts because we have already discussed all the data pre-processing or the data refining process so if you want a more deeper understanding of all these commands you can go there but i'm just explaining here for all those who are new because this much explanation is just okay for understanding this machine learning model okay so let's move ahead and let's run okay so we have having an error uh too many values to unpack okay so there should be an uh, comma here i guess uh, yep okay so the data set is splitted into test and train so now we are heading to the actual work okay so now we have to import the random forest regression from our sklearn.ensemble package okay okay so now we have import the random forest regressor from the sklearn.ensemble package now the next task is to create the regressor object so what we'll do is uh, just a second uh, we'll copy this and now let's talk about the parameters inside this regressor object now the first parameter inside is the n estimate which defines that what will be the uh, number of decision trees used for this random forest now let's say we want to use 20 decision tree for this random forest model okay now the second parameter is random state now you must be familiar with this uh, random state parameter it defines the random distribution of the data into various decision tree models just a second uh, it's estimators okay so there should be an s here okay so now our model has been trained okay actually not now not now the model is not trained now uh, we'll be training the model in this step so what we'll be doing is we'll be writing uh, regressor.fit which will take the train data which is the x train and y train just a second it will take the x train and y train and then train these two data set according to this regressor object okay so this regressor object is having all the qualities of this random forest regressor and then this regressor object is being trained from the x and y train part of our data set okay so let's do this we are getting an error okay with inconsistent number of samples okay so pretty strange actually first of all we need to write the x test here and then uh, it should be y train so we have messed the values here so let's do this again 
Okay, so now our random forest model is trained. We do not need to worry about this uh, warning. Now let's get to the juicy part where we'll actually predict the values. So what we'll do is we'll write regressor uh, dot predict uh, just a second uh, predict and then we'll write the x test value inside okay so these are the predicted values now here what we are doing is we are using this regressor object which is already trained from our x chain and y chain data set and then we are predicting from our x test part of the data set to see that how well our model has been trained okay so let's say that we save this into a variable okay so let's say output okay so let's save all the values into the output variable so let's see that what is the first value uh, of the output the first value of the output is this let's say what is the first value of our uh, y test okay so what is the first value of our y test let's see okay so two one two one pretty close pretty close we can say that our model is performing good let's say some some other random values okay so just a second uh two nine eight three two nine nine two five pretty close okay so here you can see from our previous decision tree models this random forest is performing much better because it is having the power of multiple decision tree hence it is not influenced by the outliers okay so if you have many outliers in your data set then random forest is the best machine learning algorithm for regression okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have tried to explain you that what random forest regression is we have seen that what is the basic concept behind the random forest regression and then now we have seen that how we can use an actual data set and then apply the random forest regression to that data set okay so meet you in my next lecture where we will see that how we can check that what model is best for the data set okay so the next video is gonna be very important because it will let you decide that what model should be used for a given data set okay so meet you there bye bye